Irate and IT can be movies, music, software, logo, trademark, picture and many more. It happens when someone is using someone else's creation without permission. Why some professionals still prefer using pirated products than the original products? The original product is rather very expensive, or it can be charged monthly or charged yearly. Well the pirated product is either cheaper or free, and easy to find. Next, Piracy Invader is someone try to gather our private information such as real name, telephone number, email, address, IC number, and the most dangerous is our any account password, from social media to online banking. One of the effects from Privacy Invader is Identity Theft. Identity theft is someone using our personal data for their own interest. They can use the data as long as the real user did not alert and report it. People who work as a professional but involved with these two cases show that they are lack with ethics. So, what are the solution to these problems? The most common question asked are How to avoid using pirated products? We must review the authenticity and quality of the product and ensure that the product has a valid logo license registered to prevent the use of pirate product if a, if a pirate product is found we must report the website that has pirate research to the authorities and further action will be taken what will happen if i was caught using pirated products based on copyright act of 1987 you can be fined five thousand until twenty thousand or you can spend your time in jail minimum two years or it can be both how to prevent our product being pirated you can register your product with ip protection for example, on IP protection is you can register trademark, better and copyright for your product. You can also register your business, product, or the domain names for the product. How to protect your data privacy? For example, uh, you need to personalize your data. You need to know which data is uh, personal and private data. For your private, your private data, you should be, it should be keep in an offline secure uh, storage so that no one can access it. And only you can access it. Okay. Uh, the next thing is you need to up always update your software uh, of your OS security, uh, or you, you need to use an antivirus that protects uh, you from spam, phishing, and many others. Uh, the version of antivirus that you can use is, for example, this uh, internet security version, uh, Total Security or 360. <coughs> the next is uh, you need to know uh, you need to use a private network connection so it can protect you uh, you can rely on a free network wi-fi that may or may not take your data without you knowing the next thing is uh <clears throat> okay uh don't use uh, free storage for example like uh google drive it's not good actually uh use a free storage because uh free storage can be accessed by anyone this is very important to you to know uh you need to use different password for different account, different password for different private data that you use. For example, your uh, private email, you need to differentiate between your private email and your uh, bank password. So to ensure that it's not easy to be hacked. And if example, if it is being hacked, uh, it's hard to crack your password, although they know certain information about you. What to do if my data has been taken? You can submit a report to Malaysian Communications and Multimedia Commissions or also known as MCMC. You must submit the report to MCMC by providing supporting documents and minor details of the information. Copies of email or mail that have been sent to the officials must also be provided. You can also submit an online report by going to the officials website at aduan.skmm.gov.my. The officials will analyze the report and will help you to solve the problem.